Well, the past year has been difficult for students and educators, especially when it comes to hands-on learning. A group of Newburgh students got a unique experience earlier today, even though the school week ended yesterday. Eyewitness News' Ryan Witchery takes us to a very special construction site at Sharon Elementary School. Let's face it, kids don't usually want to go to school on Saturday. If we was to hang out with these guys, that would be an exception. Yep, nothing but, like mm, Saturday school. If I had, if I had to like, Wait, Saturday, if it's, if like, if I'm on a Saturday and I have to like do something with them, I would gladly take off. Six students from Sharon Elementary School's Boys to Men program got the chance to learn some hands-on skills, like measuring. It's the 52 and a half. And drilling. Some reverse right now. Push it back in. There you go. See? Look at there. That was. You see the difference? Though the adults still handled the table saw to build two picnic tables. The program is an effort to give extra support to certain students at the school. Sharon Elementary School Assistant Principal Chris Warner says the projects the Boys and Men Club completes, like this table here, help them reach their full potential. We feel like young men need to understand that, number one, you have to have knowledge, but knowledge without action is, is, is fruitless. So basically from there, we want to show them, like today, uh, not only being constructive, but life outside of a computer screen or a, or a tablet screen is very important. So we're teaching them how to use their hands. While the kids disagree on what their favorite part was. Drilling. Drilling. Same. Drilling and Mine. drawing the lines. My favorite part was all of it because, like, we're all pretty much a team. This is why we're in this group. Um, AKA club, so it was pretty much all of it, especially okay. spending time with all my friends. They agree they had a good time. Yeah. All the supplies for today's event were donated by Lowe's, giving each of the students their own toolbox. Ryan Wittry, Eyewitness News.